What's up, Scrollgers? It's Nerp here, and right now you're looking at a still uh, image of Blinky's Spot the Win. So, Spot the Win um, is like find lethal with like a set uh, game board. So Blinky created this custom match. You can find it by clicking Skirmish in the uh, in the arena and click custom rules and then you just find Blinky's spot the win number one and then you get frustrated because it's really 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 hard uh, Blinky made this r almost impossible and it, it took me so long to do um, I recorded me trying to do this uh, a billion times I was just trying so hard to somehow beat this so it was like an hour long recording, but then I went back and the audio was unbearable. Um, as you know, I've been doing my videos on a, like a pretty bad laptop uh, ever since I came back um, to my channel, and this it was just it was you, it was just constant buzzing, and uh, for some reason the game volume was really loud. Uh, so forgive me for that. Uh, so what I did is you don't get to hear my live frustrations in this video but just know that all these tries I have goat playing in fast motion um, I'm just raging at the screen um, mad at Blinky for making this so freaking hard post commentary I really just wish that that the audio was fine so I could just play this back in full speed but I guess the video is gonna be shorter because of that so Here's a try number one, and it, the board is just a mess. There's so many possible things that can happen. There's even a budding retreat out there, for God's sake. And I remember my first try, I was just thinking, I have to get the Harvester to destroy the second idol, the Dark Room to destroy the top idol, and the Varus to destroy the bottom idol. But the problem is, to get the Harvester attack, you definitely need to use at least one of the damage curses, because the damage curse will deal damage to my side, which should kill a lot of creatures. Then the problem with that is both the Varus and the Harvester have one health. Um, th there is a... The Varus will get extra... I do have Regenture there. I played in the Harvester. Regenture um, I knew would increase my health by two, so I can survive a hit. And then I can um, increase the Varus' uh, health by putting a Searing Shackles on the Darkling and moving the Darkling. Uh, See, so yeah, I just I missed that whole the whole thing. It was so hard to talk about the uh, with a post commentary. Oh. So basically, the I have to I was trying to get both the Varus and the Harvester to survive a damage So the uh, Regenerator go went on the Harvester, and then the Varus is enchanted with Essence Garb, which um, gives plus one health, plus one attack, and then it gives plus an extra uh, two attack, an extra two health when you have Dominion. So that's why I just played uh, Searing Shackles on the Darkling and then moved it because that gives uh, the Varus up to three health because then I activate Dominion because the, the Darkling dies. Uh, so now I so I think in my head, okay, I'm good. I already know how to have the Harvester and the Varus survive this. So I'm feeling pretty good. And I see how things are going. I see, oh, if I Damon Curse, um, I will be able to, uh, destroy some things. Uh, and there, I just messed that up. I played the, uh, Expurgator on, um, the row with the Harvester. So, that took away the Regenerator, the Harvester lost off. Also, what you saw me do this game, I played the Regenerator on the row when the Harvester was in front of the One Health Idol. So that would further increase the attack of, uh, Varus, it would add two attack to him. So you see there, that was try number two. Um, did not really work out. Uh, we'll see if uh, try number three goes any better. So now I'm pr I'm still focused that I think I know what to do here. Um, so I I start there, then I put the regenerator in front of the one health idol. So now the harvester is going to start with a demon curse. And uh, I did already do the Darkling with the Searing Shackles so to kill it, to kill it. There is the uh, Spurgator, there's the Damning Curse, and I just 
don't have enough attack to uh, break through that bottom row because I don't have enough resources to play the second damage curse. I realize that if I have enough resources for two damage curses, I can win it because then I can I can curse the uh, the blast auto and k destroy the iron golem or iron giant. What's his name? I don't even know. Iron Giant? Iron Golem? Iron Ogre! <laughs> uh, I can get rid of the damage curse. Yeah, because that would be... The Varus would go up to 14 attack because... Uh, the... Oh, here. Yeah, I have to talk about the actual... What I'm doing here. This is where I realized... Maybe Blinky's just tricking everybody with that... Uh, with that Harvester. Um, maybe it just has to die because I realized... The button retreats there, and I kept on coming up short for resources for the second damning curse. So, how do you get more resources? Have more things spawn. And you gotta get those humans to die around the witch doctor to do that. So I, so now I'm putting the, uh, the regenerator on the witch doctor. Um, so that I can have some things die next to it. So back to the Varus, I need you, so it would, you're gonna have 14 attack because, um, a uh, idol is going to be destroyed before you attack. Two idols are going to be destroyed before you attack. Um, so that's going to go to 10. And then uh, also you have the essence garb. So that's 12. And then there's going to be 14. Uh, so you could subtract 4 for the use of contraption. Then there will be a, a curse on. Curse monger can curse the. Uh, whatever it's called. The blast auto. So then it's going to take 4 damage to kill that. So then you go into 8 attack. And then you. Or 6 attack. And then you damage curse the iron iron ogre, so then you get rid of that, and then you have six attack left over to destroy the six L idol. So I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty confident on that part. I have to get the up top to work, and I think I'm doing it right with the witch doctor here. Um, so I play the expurgator, and I'm kind of trying to maneuver here, and I don't have enough resources to play the second damage curse. So it's tough. Oh yeah, I forgot to explain. How do I win it without the... Sorry, this is a bad post commentary. How do I win it without the Harvester? Um, that middle row only has one creature. So if you damage curse the Blast Auto in the middle, you can have a 10 attack Rot Eater be able to destroy the middle idol. So that's what I'm thinking. I have to get I have to get like 10 things to die around this Rot Eater. Or 9 things to die around the Rot Eater. And to do that, there is a uh, state machine. So any husks that spawn will go down to 1 health. Um, so, I'm just, I have to figure out a way of positioning so that I can do that. Um, and I have to have the Rot Eater be in that center tile. Because if he's in the back, he won't just, he, the attack order won't have him attack before the Varus on the bottom. And I need him to attack before the Varus on the bottom because I need the Varus to have 14 attack and not 12. Uh, Varus gets extra attack from when the idol is destroyed. So, uh. I'm thinking, I am thinking, and I realize I need to have three, I need to have three husks spawn. If I don't have three husks spawn, I won't have enough resources to play a second damage curse. Um, but I'm thinking how I can do that without moving the Witch Doctor to the middle. It feels like the Witch Doctor needs to move to the middle of the board, but then I can't, uh, I can't do anything about that. I can't. So I just, I move to the front, see what happens, play the uh, Expurgator, one health, here comes a Damning Curse, I'm just hoping enough things will spawn to get me up to five resources because the Damning Curse has taxing. And there we have a pop and no cigar. So I don't know, I, I lost track of how many times I tried this. And here this try, yeah, I mean, this, this really kills. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, this is, it sucks about scrolls like win differential and your win percentage, like custom matches, trials, they all count towards this. This is really like a extremely hard trial. Really cool puzzle. So there, I'm doing my strategy, and then this time, I kind of get something to work here. Um, I have the witch doctor in the middle row, but with the number of the damn curse, I can get the rot eater to ten attack. Um, and I have enough resources. And I have enough resources to play a, a Demon Curse. 
problem there was that the Rot Eater didn't destroy the Middle Idol before uh, the Varus attacked. Because the Rot Eater was in the back row. So I'm thinking, how do I get that Witch Doctor to not be in the middle? I could have Damage Curse the Witch Doctor, but then I wouldn't have a Damage Curse, the Damage Curse only on the bottom. Um, Blinky thought out all these possible scenarios. Uh, props to him for making such a tough challenge. The, the real time without sped it up, this takes an, it took me an hour to figure out. Uh, don't worry, it's not going to be sped up when I actually figure out the uh, actual solution. I believe this is my last uh, failure. So I'm just getting everything together and double pop, and that time I just I uh, did not have it, enough things dying next to the rod. I need a. Uh, I only got it to eight attack. Also of note, um, the Expurgator does not remove effects, and the uh, Blinky gave that Languid an effect, so you can't just put the Expurgator on the row with Rod Eater to give it 10 attack. And now, um, uh, this, I think this is actually the last fail. So I'm, I'm confident that the Searing Shackles on the Darkling thing is the way to go, because I don't really think of a, a different way to make the Varus survive a damage curse. Because you have to get Dominion as fast as possible. I can't really think of a different way. So I'm just thinking, if that's wrong, I'm just dead, because I keep trying that. And now, I'm trying to maneuver around here, trying to get as many things next to the Witch Doctor as I can, but now looks like there's just not going to be enough uh, things uh, dying next to my rod here just to get it to 10 attack. And sure enough, there aren't enough things. It's only going to get to uh, 8 attack again. I just keep... I'm close, but I can't... I can't have... The, I just can't get the positioning right between the Rot Eater and the uh, and the Witch Doctor. I'm not sure, should I damage curse before I move the Rot Eater? Should I damage curse after I move the Rot Eater? I'm not sure, like, if the bottom left Ripper has to come into play or what. Um, I'm just really frustrated at this point, even getting a lot of lag right now. I keep clicking the play button. Okay, and now we are in real time. So, this is it. I'm fed up. This whole time, I, I wasn't sure if I was supposed to sacrifice for, for resources or not. Um, it looks like all these scrolls are pretty valuable and do it. I was thinking about me sacrificing the Expurgator. But I kind of need that extra thing to get right of your ten attack. So here we go. Time to put everything into action. Starting with the searing shackles on the on the uh, little darkling. Get that on there. Move it up. Get the right of your buffed and and uh, spawn a husk, as well as activate dominion and destroy an idol. So now the Varus can survive a damage curse, and the Varus's attack goes up to ten. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting lag here. Maybe this part should have been sped up. So, pop, and now your attack is 10 on the bottom. Remember, I have to make sure you get this 14 attack before you attack, which means 12 attack before the right ear destroys the middle idol. And there, uh, Regenerator on the Wish Drive that destroys one of my idols. So now the, the Varus goes to 12 attack. And now is the hard part. Maneuvering the units around the Rot Eater and the Witch Doctor. And... Here is where I had the epiphany. The Expurgator can remove the Regenitor. That was the toughest part of this whole thing for me to realize. The Expurgator will remove the enchantments on the row, and the Regenitor is an enchantment, and that gave two health. So, the uh, I can kill the Witch Doctor. Well, which is huge, because that lets... Uh, me free up the middle row, the middle spot on the board for the Rot Eater to it to have that spot for attacking. That was the toughest part of this for me. Uh, so now that I figured that out, I'm just thinking, okay, I this better work. If this doesn't work, I'm rage quitting. So uh, yeah, because I need all these, I need all the resources from from the um, state machine. So let's play the Expert Tour. Come on. Go on, I'm just pondering right now. Uh, and also, just, uh, or no, I have to play the damage before the Expurgator, because I have to get all the husks. 
I really, this, what do you call it, the spot the win number one, so I assume he's going to have more than this, like, coming out soon. I don't know how he's going to be at the top of this one, the first one, it's so, it's so hard. I don't know how much harder it can get. So, come on. Can we just play, play the Diamond Curse? So, Diamond Curse, I guess, the, uh, the middle guy, so the Rod Eater has a clear path to, uh, destroy the 10 health idol. Rod Eater goes to... Five attacks, so I have to have five more things dying next to the Rod Eater. And uh, here I'm like, okay, now you played the Expurgator, because I can kill the Witch Doctor, opening up the space, giving the Rot Eater six, six attack and six health. Yeah, so right now I'm just thinking. Thinking about how I can possibly do that. Come on, go ahead, play it. All right. Anytime now. Yeah, you see how much thinking I was doing while I was doing this. And probably like Blinky and everybody was like watching me fail time and time again, <laughs> destroying my win ratio. And then a, uh, and here, I'm relieved. So look at that. I just moved the Rod Eater down. I have a five wild for one more damage curse. Get that Rod Eater to ten attack. So Stammy Curse, that Iron Ogre, and that Varus goes to 14 attack, able to destroy all the idols. Now I'm just crossing fingers, just let this work. <laughs> How beautiful was that? That was really hard, really frustrating, but so satisfying at the end. Uh, yeah, so go check out Blinky's channel, he probably has more info on this and stuff like that. So that'll be it for today. Um, again, I'm very sorry for not having the live commentary of this. Things messed up. Uh, the computer's coming. So, yeah, the videos won't be like all weird and fuzzy audio like this uh, and not 1080p for much longer. I guess this uh, this week and all of the computer. So that'll be it. Uh, follow, follow on Twitter, follow on Twitch, like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content like this. And I guess I'll see you all next time. Keep on scrolling, scrollers, and try that uh, spot the wind if you didn't.